very good day to everyone. My name is Kohi Ling with the matrix number of 262489 under the supervision of Prof. Dr. Azila Binti Kasim. By taking this opportunity, in this video, I would like to share with all of you about Taiwan and will be focusing on the best practices of tourism planning in Hualien, Taiwan. Before we go into the topic, let us start with a short brief of tourism in Taiwan. The tourism industry claims to be one of the important industry and the contributors to the economy of Taiwan. As you can see from the slide, the chart shows Taiwan tourist revenue from 2008 to 2019. The number of 2008 continues growth to 2019 that had reached more than 27 billion USD. So on behalf of that, what is the significance of Taiwan's tourism? Or what is the special of Taiwan's tourism? Due to the ideal geographical location and the abundance of history aspect, Taiwan is rich in nature-based tourism, cultural heritage tourism and more. For example, National Palace Museum, Yangmingshan National Park, Toroko Gorge, Jofen and Rambo Village. A record high of 11.84 million tourist arrivals has visited Taiwan in 2019, which showing up a 7% growth compared to the previous year. However, Although the ideal geographical location has brought a positive impact to the tourism in Taiwan, unfortunately, it goes negative as well. For your information, Taiwan is one of the most vulnerable areas that frequently suffer from natural disasters. And among it, the frequent natural disasters are typhoons, landslides, floods, droughts, as well as earthquakes. One of the natural disaster issues that happened is in the year of 2015, a typhoon namely Saudalor occurred in northern Taiwan. At that time, nearly 2,600 people were ordered to evacuate. The authorities suspended ferry services to remote island. More than 2 million households in Taiwan have power outages and has caused at least 5 deaths. The impact of natural disaster has caused flights to be cancelled, local transportation is paralyzed, and the tourist attractions may be damaged. So, from the above, in a chain's reaction, the economy is suffered as well. Therefore, natural disasters do affect tourism industry, especially in areas that depends heavily on tourism. However, in this video, we will be reviewing the case of tourism planning in Hualien, Taiwan. Hualien is originally an area with extremely rich tourism resources and is a major tourist county in Taiwan. For example, Taroko, Qingxing Tan, and Huangtong Leaf Forest. This is also one of the reasons from Hualien has more than 80% of employment and economic activities that are related to the tourism industry. Nevertheless, the inevitable always happened. One earthquake hit Hualien in a squeezed heart. In the year of 2018, Hualien had faced a strong earthquake of magnitude 6 and above. This unexpected incident happened has caused huge damage to Hualien, especially in the tourism sector. According to the Tourism Bureau, Ministry of Transportation Taiwan, he stated that the impact of the earthquake in Hualien has affected the tourism industry, as well as the hospitality industry. This incident has caused at least 15 deaths, 250 injured, and a mark in the hearts of the citizens of Taiwan. However, the post-disaster assessment has reported a one-night trip to Hualien for accommodation, transportation, meals, and souvenir cost about new Taiwan dollars 4,500. So it is estimated that 60% of the overall checkout rate and the cancel trip would be lost around new Taiwan dollars 50 million in one day. Therefore, due to this issue, Taiwan rolls out a tourism promotional plan to try to save and reduce the loss of the tourism and hospitality industry in Hualien. The planning with the tagline of Visit Hualien, Cheer Up Hualien is a plan for the revitalization of the tourism industry in Hualien, with a view to revitalizing the local tourism industry through relevant preferential measures and promotional activities. However, the revitalization plan is by offering the travel subsidy for the travelers to revisit and stay in Hualien in order to help restore the tourism and boost the local economy after the deadly Hualien earthquake. In a simple understanding, this planning is basically a way to attract and encourage domestic travelers as well as the foreigner to travel to Hualien. The subsidy is categorized into three sectors, which are promoting domestic tourism, 3535 accommodations, and Taiwan incentive travel. The first one is promoting domestic tourism. 
This sector is specifically for group travel by legal travel agencies. The requirement is for two days one night stay in Hualien with a minimum of 20 people in the group. Each person can get a subsidy of up to New Taiwan dollars 500 and half of the daily car and train fee. The next is the 3535 accommodation. This sector is specifically for the citizen of Taiwan with the requirements of 3 days 2 nights stay in Hualien and a minimum of 3 to a maximum of 19 people accompanying. Each person can get up to New Taiwan dollars 500 subsidies for lodging. The last is Taiwan incentive travel. This sector is specifically for the international travelers who intended to have the incentive travel in Taiwan. The requirement is at least to stay in Hualien for 4 days to 3 nights with a minimum of 50 people in a group. Each person can get the subsidy with at least New Taiwan dollars 400 to New Taiwan dollars 800. However, the subsidy period is only from February to June 2018 and only at the certain synthetic spot that has been set by the Tourism Bureau. So, with rolling out this plan, it has helped Hualien to overcome the difficulties in the tourism industry after the strong earthquake. In another word, this plan can be saying that it is a united action between the community and the government and even the foreigner to lend a hand to contribution of boosting up the tourism in Hualien after the strong earthquake. Nevertheless, due to the good result of this subsidy plan, the Tourism Bureau of Taiwan has then continued to the boom of this activity by adding an additional 2019 Warm Winter Trail Program to encourage the citizens of Taiwan to participate in domestic tourism at the end of the year of winter. After then adding Spring Outing Project, Autumn and Winter National Tourism and the Relief Travel Plan for domestic travel after the pandemic of COVID-19. Therefore, obviously, the continuous subsidy for the upcoming project has shown this tourism planning is the best practice planning when it comes to the boosting up the domestic tourism. Although the first purpose of this subsidy was an emergency plan to build up tourism after the issue of natural disaster, but now it turns out to become a plan for saving the poverty in domestic tourism. Malaysia does not have the natural disaster that happens in Taiwan, but it can be a good example for Malaysia to boost domestic tourism, especially to the rural area. However, for your information, as the pandemic hit, Malaysia does have a subsidy plan for domestic travel by offering individuals to claim up to 1,000 ringgit tax relief for travel expenses. But not everyone got to pay the income tax, so it means not everyone can get the subsidy for the domestic travel. So to be equality and equity, the subsidy planning from Taiwan is an ideal way to benefit both community, stakeholders and the government. Therefore, from this tourism planning, it is a good example for Malaysia to learn from when we get into the topic of bolstering domestic tourism. So we come to the end of the video. I thank you in advance for taking your time and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Take care and stay safe.